Well, welcome back, YouTubes, to my shop. Now, it's Thursday night. I'm off for work for the week. Not for the week. For the, I'm done with work for the week. I'm just kind of out here, kind of planning out what I want to get, try to get done tomorrow. Um, I really haven't put out a. You know, I think I said in my last video I was going to try to do a video a week of this, but you know what? I haven't really been making a whole lot of pro progress every weekend. You know, I think it's been two or three weekends now since my last video. And I probably have about 10 to 15 hours into what I've gotten done, and I'm barely farther than what I was the last time I did a video out here. Um, I got a couple more sections of foam done. I got these two walls studded out, ready to go. Actually, not ready to go. I got, uh, when I put the foam up, I really didn't know where my ceiling height was going to be at. So I just kind of ran it all the way up with the thought of I'd cut off what was extra later on because I want to put an extra, not like a header board, but like another support board that I can nail to, you can see it up in the top of that there, that I can toe nail my rafters into. Or my ceiling joists, whatever they're called. So I just need to finish, do that out. Um, what I've been spending a lot of my time on is basically pushing stuff around out of my way all the time. Um, you know, right now, I got all this stuff kind of pushed back this way. And when I was doing these two walls, I had this kind of shoved up into that area, so I had enough area on the floor here to build these two two walls on the floor here. And this just isn't working out. I'm spending way too much time moving stuff around all the time. Then if I need to cut more 2 by 4s which I try to cut everything way ahead of time. I mean, I, most of the stack here... Is already pre-cut for other walls. The only part that isn't is this stack of wood. This bench will eventually go away anyhow. So I think tonight I'm not going to worry about building walls or finishing insulating. I need to I need to make it so I'm not moving shit around out here all the time. And getting rid of this bench will help a lot. In doing that, I think the I'm gonna take the the lathe over into the other garage, and I think I'm gonna undo my grinder and clamp it, take it over there, those over there too. Now I haven't really decided if I'm just gonna cut this up to get it out of here or what I'm really gonna do here, because this thing. I would say this bench probably weighs a good 150, 200 pounds. I know when I got my lathe, I tipped it on its side, or its back, I should say, to cut the legs down to make it a more manageable work area for what I'm doing there. And it was everything I could to get it stood back upright. I I think I would like to actually kind of keep part of it just to put these two tools back on. Uh, the lathe is going to go somewhere else when everything is all said and done. Uh, the reason why I just don't take this apart and reuse the lumber is the person who originally built this, which was not me, a previous homeowner I presume, it was here when I got here. They kind of live by the motto, if one nail is good enough, 20 is even better. So I'm not going to waste my time trying to bust this thing all apart because I'd probably spend a day trying to get it apart. This is some nice solid construction grade lumber. I don't know if this is like southern yellow pine or... um. That other, I can't think of what. I 
it's another kind of pine that's real heavy duty and I can't think of the name it starts with a D uh, it doesn't matter but all I know is it weighs a freaking ton I mean this this 2 by 8 or whatever it is I think it's the same material and this 2 by 8 I would say, I don't know, this is 10 foot, 12 foot long. This weighs twice as much as the 20 foot rafters I have sitting out on my trailer right now. So, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Get it out of here. I'm going to have to, of course, move all this stuff out of the way to do that. Then I think I'm going to... I might move this and get this out of here for now I'm gonna take all my tools I think I'm gonna go stick them in my basement for now even though they're kind of out of the way there I, I think I'm gonna bust this down yeah cuz I'm gonna rebuild this eventually anyways I think I'm gonna bust that down now cuz I'm not, not really doing anything right now where I need my table saw and if I did I could always set up some sawhorse or something. So I think I'm gonna bust, break that down. I got a bunch of firewood there. I think tomorrow when it's light out, I'll either go dump it somewhere on my property. So that's what I'm kind of dealing with right now. I'm trying to figure out a better way of doing this here. And definitely getting that bench out of there is will save me a lot of headache. Cause this bench is actually heavier than this one. This one I can push around by myself. This one probably weighs a good 150 pounds by itself too. But at least this one I can push. Out of my way. Alright. It's time to stop goofing around and get something done here. Plus this video is going on the 12 minute mark here I should pass the 12 minute mark here and we'll see we'll see what I get done here well, I'll talk to you guys later